happy new year everybody yes welcome to 2019 jpm is back jesus pitney ministry here with you guys want to tell you thanks for tuning in and for the support that we got in 2018 we started the youtube and facebook aspect of the the ministry in december and we are happy to say we have seen growth and we thank you guys for the support but please remember to like share and subscribe to our youtube channel that will help grow the ministry it will push us as youth ministers further along the line and publicly allow us to grow so thank you guys for being here with us thank the almighty it's now 2019 right and um i want to thank god for bringing us this far thus far for his grace and his mercy it's, it's let me tell you brothers and sisters whoever you are young people whole people jolly folks watching i don't know why you do make god a keep you alive and if you're not believing a god i don't know why you do i keep you alive still i tell you that's true you understand we just uh, and it's one of the things that um we are afraid to accept we are afraid to accept truth we are afraid to, to to see life for what it is and some of us like the shadow we like to know we like when things are when we don't know the whole truth to the story so we can create a story for ourselves that put us at ease you know um tonight show is the college afterlife so thank you guys for tuning into the college afterlife show again and um today i want to say it's 2019 affirmation it's the year of affirmation it's the year of claiming things so we are go boldly proclaim it own it claim it i feel one of the next thing more i said to enough jamaicans enough college people is that the belief that car you got college you're done set already you have it you lack it you see what i say but life comes with challenges and, and that's one of the things that we're afraid to to acknowledge and accept that life comes with challenges and um not because you have crossed one barrier it means you have now walked into the pearly gates right and so you will face a lot more challenges this year than last year the only way you have less challenges this year than last year is if you are comfortable with your situation and if you are comfortable with your situation you're afraid of changes and you're afraid of growth right uh i want to tell you that this is not easy Sitting here and talking something sensible, not easy. We, we people say, no problem, just jump on your phone and chat, 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 and you go live and stuff like that. But it is not as simple as as that. You understand? Um, putting together a show with consistency and and, and a message, it's it's it it does take time and it, and, it, and it can be burdensome but it's a part of the challenge that we decided to take on um we, we start off we spend a lot there's not much financial benefit to what we do but we're in it for the ministry we're in it for the growth it comes along the line right so i took tonight out to just tell somebody that wake up Martin Luther King said I had a dream. But it seems as if enough of us stuck in the dream. Right? Seems like enough of we just a dream. And we just want to be dreamers. But wake up and face the harsh reality. You take that dream. And what Martin Luther King said. If a street you feel sweep, where you feel do? Be the best street sweeper. You see what I mean? Say? So god bless us with a sound mind 
and the ability to think and the ability to do that right so for 2019 i'm gonna throw some stuff out there at you right first of all i'm going to give you a, a scripture lesson a scripture and i just want you to bear this lesson in mind timothy 1 verse 7 god did not give us a spirit of fear but of power love and sound mind right just a reminder so when we step out this year we're gonna step out bold we're gonna step out fresh uh. you see me fresh like ice yeah so we are step out bold like you see in bolt and just shine to the star you see me i just saw we are take it to the world i'm tell you you are gonna feel hold on make me refill you are gonna fall you are gonna drop you are gonna lick hot you are gonna bounce back and you see when you bounce back you are gonna be twice three times or four times as strong as when you just fell but guess what it might happen again and you have to have that same motivation that same spirit of determination to reach the finish line right Paul said fight the good fight you understand um so for 2019 what may I say not for we ball but there's no job at Jamaica there's no work at Jamaica yeah Jamaica rough Jamaica hard life hard the world hard come on it's not a bed of rose but guess what once you wake up a morning time and you have that mentality say yo may I go push out and let me tell you one of the thing one of the best thing to do every morning you wake up you write down something you want to accomplish for that day write down a few things you're gonna get something done today you put it on your list for tomorrow or you redo the list I just as simple as that if you're watching live now and you have any question any comment don't be afraid to jump in and send me what is on your mind the show needs people to grow and we wouldn't mind you give your input and allow us to be a part of your home your family right it's 2019 it's a year of change for a lot of us a lot of us put out what you call it new year resolution not really do them things then because we have a daily resolution so if we wait till every new year if we set a resolution you understand my life would all go backwards so if we can't really do the new year resolution we have to do the daily resolution you see me right so as i said one of the things i want to tell you though one of the things i want to tell you sowing seeds don't mean you reap the harvest it not not necessarily because you did all the work that you're the one that is going to get the praise and some of us are afraid of acknowledging the fact that hey me just the back me, me, me one of the back line me one of the bench warmer but guess what the team need to send up with 15 20 player and if you shot the team shot say team not qualified you understand a football match can start with less than five seven players so imagine as unimportant as some of you are based on your skill set you are still important to making the team what it is you understand i remember in college i think and i'll say i was qualified enough to make the team i i think i was qualified enough to play on the team i was the second string goalkeeper and our mainstream goalkeeper had an injury but i was not the one that was called upon at the point of his injury did this allow me to leave the team did i leave because of this issue no i stuck it out second year third year 
I was the main keeper for my college. You understand? And I got rewards for that. Um, there's accolades to show for that. So sometimes you have to wait. You understand? No matter how good you think you be, you gotta just be pan the back burner sometimes. And I just, I just lie. May I tell you? When people, some people talk, ask me if me know what struggle is. Yeah, hey. All Sunday dinner sometime, I'm mackerel and rice. It no matter how good you think you be, struggles are real. You see what I say? The struggles real, people. Real. So, when we talk about 2019, we want to be more structured. Right? So, alright, so 2019, me go shake off with the pasta. Dress in a some nice shirt, you see me? Buy a nice little watch. Touch touch road that may I look fresh and clean. So just by my appearance, somebody will want to or think that I am qualified enough to be hired. Not necessarily saying I'm going to be hired, but I am going to dress the part. I am going to live the part. You understand? That is what Job did. Even he struggled, he await his blessing in humbleness and you meet me you understand what i say so don't be afraid to fall be courageous enough to get up be determined enough to get ahead right but i think i want to tell you again for 2019 Get up off the thing that is located above your feet and below your head and start work. You understand? So if you find yourself a sit down too long, a sit down too much, get up man and go find work and do. Go over Miss James yard. Miss James, Miss sister, your flowers then want water. And your land one cut. Me charge you one five hundred dollar and do it for you, man. Come on, Jamaican. Come on, people. Don't spend your life complaining about what you don't have. But spend your time working on what you want to, based on what you already have, which is your physical status. Right? JPM was a, is a part of that. We we wanted to create our own source of income. And so we, we step out. We tell her this. It costs a whole heap of money to invest. But. But. There's a but. When you want good, you know it's a free run. Your granny never tell her that. <laughs> Ask Eileen Thomas and my granny that. She tell me, man. So, if you want something in a life, push out and go at it. Another reminder from Romans 12 verse 6. Let's go ahead. Be what we were made to be. Without enviously or pridefully comparing ourselves with each other. Or trying to be something we aren't. If you preach, just preach God's word. Nothing else. Simple as that. I Bible say it in on me. So just be yourself. Check yourself and be yourself for 2019. You understand? So with all that said, in Philippians 4 verse 19, God promised us that he will supply our, all our needs. So why are you worried for? Why are you afraid for? Come on, man. If you tell me your bills are me, tell you my bills, you probably sit down. And if me here for you, me probably sit down too. So guess what? Make we nobody fuss and fight and complain. Make we live. Make we push out. Make we strive. Right? Thank you for tuning in. I hope you enjoyed the show. 
Raban Pato, I'm here chat too. No, I'm no say some more. No, I say. Me nee no say I could talk. So I'm nee no say. Me think everything in in English too. Now man, sometimes we have to relax and you know, shake off the devil. Run him away, shake off the devil. Yeah. <laughs> so let's be productive. 2019. Touch the road, clean and fresh. For Jesus. With our mindset for work, for Jesus. So we have a lot in store. We'll see you Friday with more. Thank you guys for tuning in. Go subscribe to the channel. Oh, I have one question for you. Ask no phone, you know. I'm want to help me out with that one. Yeah. Be next show. That would be next. Next Tuesday again. Back Panda show ya. Yeah. That same one ya. Yeah. The, 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 the college after life. Yeah, that one ya yeah, me talking. Not the one you wanna go watch Friday. Me talk about the one tonight. So next Tuesday night. When you know I watch back that show ya. Yeah. More want to know come with some answer to that question ya. Yeah. Right? So the question is Do you believe that there is enough being done? To create jobs within our country and do you believe that there is enough funding provided to young entrepreneurs and if so give us insight so we can share with young people as to where they can go for this assistance and how to approach it and I know I can tell you there are ways of getting ahead so Go check it out. Come back and tell me. Right here, so same time next week. Big up yourself. Peace out. God love you. Eight o'clock next week. You see me? Ah. Uh -huh. Yeah, man, I got picnic this. Check me out, Terrence Thomas on Facebook. Sue Brown. Sue Thomas on Facebook. Look down there, so you see rest I link them to Jesus Pitney. Yeah, go check out website. Have a lot of motivational things that I wrote on there. Go check it out. Read. Support us. Share your problem. Share your sorrow. Share your pain. Share your joy. Peace out. Love 2019.